my dad, being Lawrence Payton, one of the original Four Tops, uh, never really put music and singing. He never pushed that on us. You know, his thing was, you know, it would be nice for us to have a couple of doctors in the family, lawyers, that kind of thing. So he sent us to school for all of that. He never even, in, in our household, we heard everything. Uh, Sergio Mendez, we were Pink Floyd, uh, the Rolling Stones, the four, of course, all of the Motown. It was nothing for me to wake up and see Marvin Gaye in the house or some of the Marvelettes, Smokey. It was just normal to me. But even in that environment, uh, we were never groomed to be in the, into the music industry. Because never did we ever realize or, or think that we would be separated. I mean, we still had that boyish, you know, feeling and, and dream that we would always be together singing, having fun, you know, uh, taking care of our family, you know, raising our family together and doing all those kind of things, keeping our family store running well. Uh, when he passed away, it was devastating. Uh, myself, Obi, and Levi, uh, we talked about it. We grieved about it. Uh, we started to give it up. Then we thought more about it, said, well, you know, Lawrence would want us to carry on. We have a lot of people that still love us. Let's, let's see if we can handle it. Now, at that particular time, uh, agents, our agent and our managers were saying, well, you need to add a guy. We said, well, we're not going to do that. So uh, we said, we'll work, but we're only going to work with three, and we're going to still call ourselves the Four Tops because it's a name that we've created and lived with. And we're not going to change it. They said, well, either you add a guy or you change the name. So we're not doing either. And we did that for about a year. Nobody complained. No one complained at all. And what we did do, we lit one of our musicians, in fact, our conductor, sang the fourth part. So at least the sound or close to the sound would be there. So after a year, I think we, our, some of our grieving kind of subsided. And Levi and I, thought it was about time to uh, fill up the hole, you know, get somebody that could uh, at least attempt doing that part. Nobody, to me, none of our originals can ever be replaced. But the group we have now, they're really doing a fine job. I mean, you know, it's just a new four tops. Uh, it was kind of difficult. Um, the tops were three tops for quite, I think, a couple of years. And uh, Duke and Obi approached me and said, would you be interested in being one of the tops? I said, absolutely. And so they brought me in, and I kind of sat behind stage, and I sang my note that I was watching how they did their steps and everything, so kind of being schooled from behind the stage. And I think it was January. I was two months I sat behind stage, and then they put me on stage, put me in a suit, and I had the pleasure of singing background with the tops and to watch the master, Levi Stubbs, do his thing. Well, at that time, Theo Peoples was with The Temptations, and he had been released from The Temptations, or he quit. I don't remember what it is. and didn't care. But I heard that he was not with him anymore. So I, said, I went to Levi. I said, Levi, you know, Theo Peoples, we, you know, we've been traveling with him. He's a great guy, great young man, very talented. He could, he could really sing that fourth part. I said, not only that, Lee, he could be a great backup quarterback, you know. He could come in if ever you got sick or something. And at that time, Levi was starting to get ill. He was starting to get weak, and he was starting traveling, was at taking his toll on him, and he was, he was ailing. So he thought, he said, you know, it would not be a bad idea. I said, yeah. I said, well, Theo, if you, wanted, if you wanted to take a month or two off, we could do Theo, and we could, put some, we could hire somebody else to just do another backup part and say, in fact, this guy, Ronnie McNair, who is Obi's best buddy, he can sing, he can play piano, he can do all of that. Why don't we just keep him on the side as a utility guy in case something happened to any one of us? Because now we see that something can happen. So this way, if you got ill, he, Theo could sing the lead, and we could take Ronnie and put him in to that spot. Well, the way it's like a Cinderella story with me, with how I replaced uh Obi Benson, you know, he was. We lost him last July. He was like my big brother, best friend for a long time, and uh, he brought me in to take the uh, our uh, band leader's place, George Roundtree. He he had, was sick, so I came in and played the piano for a month or so. And when George came back, they asked me would I stay, and then I said for what? And they said, well, we want you to be like a safety valve. They would pay me just in case anything went wrong. So we, they were thinking that. George might get sick again, but about five months later, Levi, the lead singer, 
got sick. On uh, we were in opening up for the Beach Boys in North Carolina. One summer, Four Tops and the Beach Boys had a weekend together, and we had three sold out concerts, and all of them were twenty thousand seaters and amphitheaters. And Levi called me about three hours before the show. He said, "Duke, I, I can't make it. And my voice is gone." And I just feel too weak. I think I got it. I just can't make it. I said, holy cow. And um, they came to me and said, uh, did you hear the news? I said, what news? They said, well, no, Levi is not going to do the show tonight. He's sick. I said, what? So he had to got to cancel our part of the show. So I went to our manager, Ron Strasner, who we lost him to uh, about a year and a half ago. And um, I said, Ron, well, uh, y'all got to give the money back? And he said, give the money back. He said, we got to pay today's payroll with yesterday's money. So I said, oh, man. I said, well, look, I said, if uh, I put my tuxedo on and just go up there and be the fourth man, you got to get paid, right? He said, that's right. So before I could go and put my tuxedo on, the uh, valet that we had then told me, he said, man, come here and see, can you wear these pants? And he threw Levi's pants on me and threw Levi's coat on. And Levi just happened to have long arms. I'm taller than him, but his arms are long, so his coat fit me. I had to wear his pants kind of low so I wouldn't flood. I had to wear them all the way down there. But it fit good enough, and I went out and I did three nights straight, saved the day. And since then, then uh, I would hit and miss for Levi when he didn't feel like it. He'd tell me to suit up. And uh, I did that all the way to the end of the year. And since uh, January of 2001, I've done all the shows. So it's like a fairy tale, but it's true. And Levi really was too ill to work after that. Uh, the only time he worked after that was when President Clinton was leaving office. He asked us to perform at his going away party because we were one of his favorite groups. And Levi said, you know what, I think I can make that. <laughs> and, he, you know, and, he, and he barely made it, but he did make it.